But he, he, here's what all that looks like in the end for us. I just have one more thing to show you here. Here's, here's what this looks like. This animated graphic I'm about to show you was produced by the BBC. Uh, and they are using data here from Johns Hopkins University. And what you're going to see here is a graphic that shows the progression of how the coronavirus pandemic spread throughout the world. This thing is only about 40 seconds. It is worth watching the whole thing. I particularly want you to watch when the, the part at the bottom of your screen, the part that shows the time frame that we're in, I want you to particularly watch when it gets to the very beginning of March. Okay, all right, let, let's, let's start it. So as you can see, uh, by late January, China was dealing with an explosive outbreak. But even as that country started to grapple with tens of thousands of cases, the rest of the world remained largely unscathed. By late February, however, there's South Korea, there's Italy, there's Iran, all reporting thousands of cases. And now here, watch what happens at the beginning of March. Look at the speed at which the U.S. epidemic starts to take off. By the end of March... We have surpassed everyone. And from that point on, cases in the U.S. continue to grow with astonishing speed by the thousands and then by the tens of thousands. And nobody is even close. That that is the proof in the pudding. That is the data that shows a failed national response, the worst failed national response on Earth. Right. How our response is an international disaster because of the way our unchecked, unmitigated spread of the virus now dominates the pandemic worldwide and dominates the human prevalence of this virus on Earth. I mean, patchwork, late, denialist, fantasist, uncoordinated, inept, unscientific confusion in national policy leads to this, leads to a runaway disaster. I mean, we do have to build on the few places that have been getting it right in our country and learn from them. And we need to support the places that are being overrun. But at half a million cases now in our country and nearly 2,000 American deaths every day now, this has run off with us.